What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are about to attack the city of Istanbul because there are a number of Ottoman territories that are within our grasp. We'll first be fighting against taking out uh, the, the Ottomans at Istanbul, then we will also be attacking the Ottomans at Tbilisi. Yerevan is just out of reach next turn and the same can be said about the Crimea. So without further ado, let's take Mr. Charlton, attack the garrison here. Mostly there's lots of regular units. So we're going to blow our way in, do a bit of thinning. Then we will attack. So let's begin. I do like attacking eastern settlements because the walls, in European walls, you end up getting, per face, you roughly get four ways in. So a section of the wall, you know, like there's a, there's a wall section either side of the gate that can be destroyed to get in and they can also be the bastions themselves can be collapsed to get in but the largest eastern forts generally seem to have you know so what corner something like the corner collapses here here something like six roughly i think oh no thinning full on a regular old assault very well What I might do is do this a bit differently. And try and push more points of the compass at once. So I've got a section that's gonna go in through the front and cover the breach. I've got some sections that are going to take some parts of the wall, but another set of sections that are gonna attack this section of the wall to spread out the number of troops we've got available to be attacked at any one time. So let's go straight for a section of the wall right ahead of us. Let's knock them down. It looks like their first hit it was a damn lucky one. They got one of my gun teams. But it looks like it won't will not take us very long to uh, collapse this section of the wall. But bear in mind they have two units of mortars so it's gonna be a bit tricky. You want to knock down this section, a section on this side, maybe the corners as well. It's also gonna be down to uh, making sure we just destroy their guns. We might actually get a good amount of kills here. Not bad. Then attack that section of the fort. We're not going to trap anyone, but it will help. We need to spread out, or we'll begin spreading out where they're... Okay. So again, they've not followed my orders. But, as a result, they then tried to attack the centre, which is interesting to know they can do that. And they've done it again. Yeah. Yeah, they are attacking the centre. That's not terrible, but... This could be the problem. It seems like sometimes you give them an order, and if you, if you speed up time too quickly after it, they don't pay attention. But now they are. As you can see, I was giving the order, then speeding up time, and then it was just stopped. It was nothing was happening. But we're going to make our ways in, then advance on all fronts at once to prevent any one pincer, if you like, from being overwhelmed and attacked. Got to bear in mind they do have. They're on the defensive, and their Israeli, there, Israeli aren't great, but they aren't terrible either. Let's begin to knock down a second section of their wall. Let's actually put it onto this speed. It's a bit, it's quicker, but it's not as juddery. Boom, 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 boom. No one's gonna die. Get work on the next section. Let's 
So you men walk. These men run. These men run. Push up my heavy cavalry as well. See what, what takes their fancy. Actually, you men better run as well. Well, they're going to get shot in the back with gunfire. Oh! Oh! See, they've, they've ignored my order and they're lobbing shells over into the centre, which now is fine. So what looks like it might be, what looks like it could be a good idea. So if you cover the breach, you men... Oh, no, no, there's nowhere really ideal for this. Could try and get my skirmishers atop the wall. I mean, they'll be stuck up there. Well, they won't be stuck up there because they'll be... The only way that people could get them would be up through their own grappling lines. So my marines hold by the gate. You men scale, you men scale, you men scale. Already charging us. Fortunately, these are all the armed populace in the Azar over here. There are Janissary Grenadiers to watch out for. If my Marines can just hold. I don't know if we're going to capture the gate, but at the, very at the very least it will prevent them from very easily sallying out. Looks like they want to push some Azar out to stop us. But you men, your objective is to take the gate so I can try and rush infantry through. Okay, no, you guys deserve destruction if that's your plan. Okay, they're committing their men at the front. The guys up here are actually charging out. That's quite ideal. We can use our muskets there. The Islamic swordsmen are the ones that are the most concerning. But if you men can secure the gate... Come on, lads! Quick lime is being launched. Okay, yeah, like that. That's what you don't want. I was hoping the Islamic swordsman would go somewhere else. No, okay, you have to. You have to run across. So let's try and get our all of our infantry through. So let's repel the unit of armed populace. We need to pressure the centre. Maybe take one unit to try and secure the gate. So I can push my marines through the gap as well. Push my cavalry through. And attack the mortars, because that will really help. And there you go, all my infantry starting to run through. Literally, you want them to run. Don't think 
any of my infantry is in the mood to try and capture the gate. But we are chipping away ceasefire the artillery because we don't want our cavalry to rout. Okay, go on, Marines. Climb up. They're sending more troops, more chaff over here to stop us. Looks like the... Yeah, they are sending troops out of the gates to try and attack us, but it's not working. I mean... If this is the case, I'm not going to move my cavalry from the centre. So let's get my marines to take this building then. So you've pushed away another unit of water. There's one, two water, a couple of more irregulars still about. Okay, let's move some of our infantry out of this engagement. My marines can carry on, but my other infantry needs to start supporting in the centre. Yeah, my marines can carry on. You men can also attack. And start bringing death and destruction to these Azar. The grenadiers. Okay, let's bring my other cavalry around. Yeah, they're also attacking them up here, but on top of the wall. Okay, you men form up and you can engage the enemy there. These guys are still quite happily engaging the troops outside of the wall. And that's every time they slip out, they try it. They try it. Try something different. A couple of units here are stuck. And one of this unit has a guy stuck here, so they will never be able to shoot. All they can do is charge. Same with you. These guys can never shoot because they've got a guy. We can see him there, stuck in the wall. Sometimes they do work their way out randomly, but more often than not, it just means they're stuck permanently. But there we go. Istanbul is taken. City is ours. You see, it can be a bit more dicey without how it's just to help you out. But Istanbul is ours, and that's going to make them really unhappy. But let's get rid of this modern university. Two modern universities. No wonder you became a republic. So let's repair all these buildings. There isn't really a cultural penalty in this game, the same way that there is in... Um, same way there is in like Rome, so there's no need to destroy all your cities and start again. Can you wipe out these raiders? Pair the vineyard. There we go. Oh my god, this guy. Oh, Bennett Gratton. I thought his name was Bennett Gordon. I'm like, please, we found the original Gordon Bennett. I mean, you're gonna march. Peace in Russia. Just march here. We're going to ignore these armies that are running around. We can defend Ankara, no problem. Mr. Bosley is going to attack Yerevan next turn. And we're going to take you, Felix Dodd. And we're going to attack the garrison here at Tbilisi, where we have howitzers. So then after... Well, next turn there will be two more settlements that have... Ottoman influence. So once we've taken them out, that will be another major player on the world stage. Uh, destroyed by gallant feet of British arms. Then we, we can begin forming both a line to attack the Russians and also a effort to push into the Middle East. So, I mean, we're already in the Middle East, so Persia specifically. 
There we go. Fairly normal affair by now. I'm going to make one way in. Deploy a bunch of troops up here in the hills. With the heaviest cavalry here. Turn off our cavalry range attacks. Light cavalry sharpshoot is 170 range. Huh, I've really underestimated you guys. That's really good. So, blow a hole in. Pretty sure my howards are probably going to attack these guys on the front. Yeah, that's okay. That's what have they got. Hand mortars, Nizam, infantry, archers, which is pretty pretty neat really. It's archers defending the wall. And this smug guy, look at him. <laughs> He's the only guy who's allowed to have a full beard. So let's speed up time. Because we're just mainly waiting for our artillery to blow a hole in the wall. Boom, 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 boom. So the Semini and the Firelock are unpopular. They do take damage from the wall being hit from near misses and so on. These guys are a mild concern. But what's going to happen is when we eventually attack, they're just going to charge down the wall into the breach, which is super lame from our perspective. But quick climbs doing a valiant job at thinning them out and it will do an even better job once we've knocked a hole in the wall anyway because that'll mean they will form to defend the breach so what we want to do is take out this section and we also then want to attack this section of the wall here you can't get in but you can destroy the fire step and the guns and prevent them from manning it so in the event that our that when our troops advance they do it with the knowledge that they are actually safe from enfilade fire I mean I say that and I've immediately abandoned waiting for it to be destroyed but that's chiefly because uh, the irregulars that are up here have dismounted the fire step So the, you know, the infantry is going to go down if we get a hit. Ooh. Yes, sir. Down to 19 men and 35 men from their full original compliments. A couple of uh, rounds of volley fire and that'll be the end of them. We can certainly pick new targets. So let's get a unit up on the wall here. You men advance to block the gate. Everyone scale the wall in as many along as many points as possible. Let's keep one cavalry unit over there. Let's keep a cavalry unit here. Oh no, these Azars have pushed up. What are you doing? You're not going to delay this. All these red coats are on their way, and they've got things to say to you. Say, it's shaped in like something like a 57 or 58 caliber ball of lead. Yeah, oh, well, okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh, they're charging. You are a bold one. You've got to make the distance a bit quicker than that. Who else is involved? Yeah, they're getting hit by hand mortars, that's what did it. So we get these men to form up in a block. Semini are down. You men cease fire and have an order to charge. These three units have an order to run 
through the gap. Switch to round shot with my howitzers and attack the camel gunners. There we go, they're starting to deploy their men from above the gate now. See you men start to attack, you men charge along the wall. Well, it looks like we're going to end up just sending more men up this very narrow section. It's not a bad result, though. When this unit's a bit more up the walls, we might be able to secure the gate. Two of these units, well, their job is just to scale the wall. There we go, like that. Although it looks like the Bashi Bazooka's going to charge them. Oh, chug a lug. So all of you, except for one, get back out of the breach. That unit of 107 men, oh it was 107. You men engage, we'll feed them in one at a, one at a time. You men attack the bashi. You men attack the bashi. Ooh, chug a lug. You men charge across the gate. No, oh, it's because these two, or all of them, got dragged back in. Partially, actually. Maybe not entirely. But if I can get this unit across the gate... I mean, this always happens every siege. It just chugs. Wow, my cuirassier got burned. It's howitzers. Oh well. Bashi Bazook should fall fairly conclusively. Keep leaving the battle at the gate. Part of it will be all of this. Which I'm hoping, when this regiment of line infantry gets around into the rear of this whole arrangement, they should start to accept Things aren't actually going to go the way they planned. That unit of infantry is wavering. So let's get that cavalry unit that sat over here. Really, I should have ran them over to the left to secure the gate. But actually, what we're going to do is push them... Well, actually, they're not going to go anywhere because they're upset. What we want is to get you men. Oh, chug, big chugs. Charge across the gate. <laughs> At some point, actually. Uh, let's see, so this is. What if I take this infantry unit? Pull them out as well. Does that stop it? Does that make it chugless? No, but it's still. Yes, it does! So you men charge them in the rear. We have taken this gatehouse, so now we can start to cross it. There we go, so now we can we can extract the enemy troops defending the garrison like pulling a tooth. My heavy cavalry can hit the camel gunners. 
my infantry can help them in that endeavour. This second unit should be quite a significant um, game changer. I don't like how these Bashi Bazooks are holding me up here, but these units look like they are going to go down. Nizam, Semini. Switch your howitzers to quick climb and attack the units at the gate. Cease fire my artillery. Actually, don't cease fire it. Make them lob shells in the centre. We're not worried about the armed populace. I might just try to see if I can extract my infantry from that engagement. Just let the... In order to create more space for my cuirassier guard. I mean, these bashy bazooks... They're doing well, but they're not doing well enough. They've only got 57 men remaining, which is significantly fewer than they started off with. So we're still pouring fire into the men at the breach, including these archers that are holding on. Keep attacking the gunners. Try to get my... I mean, that regiment of foot could well go. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's being attacked by... being engaged at by Delhi horsemen. But it looks like we're about to destroy this unit of Bashi Bazooks. It looks like we're about to destroy a number of these units on the wall. Curiosity Guard are going to kill the Camel Gunners. Some infantry are routing. My cavalry's trying to get in. Okay, now there's no critical mass. I can just take my guys and run through the gate. Ceasefire the artillery. Try and attack ground some quick lime shots with my howitzers. Boom, boom. Shots inbound. Hopefully, they don't hit the command HQ. Hit, hit a section of the corner. What? Did they... Okay. You men don't do that. I must have quick climbed them. How the hell did they do that? Oh well. Get these men off the wall. I mean, I must have quick climbed them. I've ceased fire the artillery, but I'm sure I gave, well, I gave... I did give them new orders. Stupid. Oh well. They were not critical to my strategy. Push my troops in. All of you kill the last remaining men on the wall. Got two units here ready to pour fire into the enemy, but we've also got a load of cavalry here that can do God's work. So the, you know, get the horsemen Get the Royal Cressier Guard to attack the horsemen, get my other cuirassier to attack the howitzers, get my other infantry to charge in and secure the front. New men form up. I didn't bring my sharpshooters into the action one bit. All of you men are trying to kill the last handful of Nizam. The Azar are going down. Deadly horsemen are going down. Well, the Azar will not last very long at all. The skirmish troops, so melee infantry is not their forte. One last Nizam. So when you, when you highlight multiple units and you try and right-click them to attack, it says no, but if you right-click, you do get the of orders. So it does work. There we go, last Semini is down. Get these men off the wall. Go on then, light cavalry sharpshooters. Pick off this last handful of guys. 
obviously didn't work because they were they're tucked in behind cover Get them all to charge in against the Delhi Horsemen. Like cavalry sharpshooters can just attack. This Nizam infantry, I suppose. Garrus Nazar are gonna hold down to the last man. And the Delhi Horsemen that are so confident. Are going to be on the receiving end of a whole bunch of my infantry. attack this last handful of Nizam. It's remarkable really that they're as confident as they are. Yeah, they're down to eight men fighting a couple of my cavalry. All of you attack the Delhi horsemen. They're so close. And to be honest, eh, well, I suppose it's the general unit. That's why they are sticking around for so long. They've both routed. Day horsemen are about to rout. There we go. Enemy general was killed. Excellent. There we go. So a bit of a bit of a dodgy victory, but a victory nonetheless. And that's Tbilisi secured. There's a there's a reasonable Ottoman army there. But you men replenish. Repair the Royal Palace, demolish the Mon University. Good, so I'm not going to attack you. You're protecting Sophia if they try and go for us. Fundamentally, where are you going to go? Because next turn, we're going to hit Yerevan and we're going to hit Crimea. Oh, it's just exempt you from tax. The easiest thing to do, march you guys up to Chakask. Because soon we need, we're going to need to be ready to push against the Russians. I mean, we need to do that. We need to do that in one turn. Because Russia breaks stuff. Get rid of the college here. Kolapur destroyed. Oxford still researching. Skopje. Kazani being destroyed. Sumakale. Suhumkale. Kale. Kale. Been destroyed. I mean, our offensive's gone stupendously well in India. There's not a lot we can really do. And the Americans, that attack is waiting on our declaration of war against Russia and uh, Denmark. But let's probably try and finish off the Ottomans first. So let's hit end turn. Spies are continuing their way along the front. Forces are regrouping. <laughs> Give them the formal permission to merge their armies together, and it's like, oh, okay. Eh. Raid as much as you like, good sir. The end is near. Trying to steal one last technology. But there's nowhere to go. You have sent your scholars far and wide. There is one institute to steal from me, and none of you are able to get there. Well, you are able, technically. Yeah, just, just raid, that's fine. Can't take back, Dad, which means the end is done for you. What's <laughs> the comment book? I, I, comment book guy, I am smart, much smarter than you, Hibbert. No, Madnagar's gonna. Get pushed. They're bringing down troops from Lahore and the Kabul area for the Marathas. Mm, they've brought more troops in. They are they are willing to find and try and exploit gaps. But I think in the long term it's not gonna be it's not gonna be the right thing for them. Ooh. I could intercept it, but I'm not gonna. I mean, if they want to increase the number of troops they attack me with, that's completely fine. Because the long I'm pretty sure over the next handful of turns, 
I'm going to construct um, defenses, which will really screw them up. We're not at war with Persia yet, but we soon will be. You can see how fidgety they're getting. But let's let's uh, see the end of the of the Ottoman faction, a faction that's plagued us for so very long. Raid round Mosul, fine. None of this is a problem because Murphy Bosley is going to attack Armenia. So it's a very irregular force. No defences, that's not a problem. And then Ian Stevenson. I mean, he might even demand the surrender of Crimea. Nope. But once we take Crimea, that's two. Well, that's the Ottomans destroyed. So let's attack Yerevan first. And once the Ottomans have been destroyed, we can redeploy our troops because what I'd probably like to do then is kick off the next episode with my invasion of Russia and I will save it aggressively during that campaign because I really don't want the Russians to screw it up for me so my gunners are going to be behind the lines Trying to engage their mortars. My howitzer are going to be firing quick climb in support. This very green army shouldn't have too many issues because they are against a very irregular force. Which I might put all my cavalry on the left because the right is charging uphill into a town. That's a recipe for a bad idea. Just to see Mr. Stevenson hold back. So the stoic British troops are going to make their way up the hill. Quick climb, smash into the into the uh, archers. Mortars have just started opening up. But they're going to be the focus of my. Actually, are you even in? No. My quick climbing how it's, it's hitting the Islamic swordsmen and the Janissaries that are going to try and get us into melee combat. If you have to see the offensive the push a bit short, then we will. I don't think the archers are going to try and get into melee with us, but more than welcome to try. What's more likely is they're going to get chewed up with volley fire. Artillery's in. Ooh, good hit on the Janissaries. Mortars have managed to break an infantry unit. Who's that all the way over there? Firelock arm populace. Another unit broken. Deploy the cavalry. Can't have them blowing a hole in my front like that. You're engaging Feline alone, that's a bit dodgy. Artillery, ceasefire, general attack the Armenian archers. Push the flank, you men push up to face off against that unit of infantry there. The mortars have been shattered, charged down the hill into the eastern garrison. We've charged, we've hit the... Ooh. Okay, first of all. Switch to round shot and engage the Israeli to the rear. I knew these troops would come back. And that, not so... wasn't so sure about charging over there. 
Get these dragoons into the mix. Charge into the rear of the Islamic swordsmen. Might be able to knock them out. They've pushed away one of my infantry units, but we should make that a bit even by knocking out their troops. The Armenian archers are coming in. Hello. Get these dragoons over here to hit the Armenian archers. Roll up the flank. These dragoons should do a number on those archers. Get these cuirassiers up the hill to fight against the against the um, feline on the flank. You men push it up. All my artillery shrapnel shot that unit of archers right there. Volley's off. Don't like how... Yeah, no, that's a bad idea. They were all detonating low. You men, pivot. These dragoons can continue fighting there. No, my general, my, un my as yet unexperienced general shall no longer receive experience. Yeah, one of these units of mine broke from the sheer amount of quick climb fire, the like sheer amount of shrapnel fire. You men quick climb the Israeli, you men quick climb that unit of archers. Let's get the light cavalry back to safety. Reform our line. Unit of Serrade is going down. I'm curious to know why you are wavering. My dragoons are getting smashed against those archers, but. You need to find our calm populace all the way back there, which is going to be a bit frustrating to deal with. So you guys be careful. Because there are spikes down. Everyone's chasing down that unit of archers. Take them out. When these cuirassiers come in, they should even the odds. No, maybe not entirely even the odds, but they might cause the archers to break because they they're feeling pretty chuffed with themselves until the armored cavalry comes in. So these two units charge the enemy there. Light infantry advance up to there. Infantry advance as well. Oh, there we go. They did break them. Okie dokie. So. Pretty sure Quick Climb's landing short amongst my, in and amongst my men, so that's not great. So let's speed up time, because right now there's no one left. To engage except for this unit of firelock on populace at which point we may as well just let the men get into position as they will oh look at that sacrifice a unit of colonial line to engage them in melee to force them out of the uh, position 
guns can engage the seventh. If you can close the distance and attack them, you will make them. Yeah, there we go. So they're going to start shuffling in. To be honest, you guys actually just charge into the flank in melee as well. These chaps have done more than enough to annihilate the seventh. And these units can slam into the flank of this unit of water here. See, I get very bloody and brutal when I've got plenty of money and troops. Oh, dear, dear, dear. So that is Yerevan secured. We require a new general. So let's repair it. Let's get a general from the Curacier. Marlow York. So you men rebuild here. General, In general, those buildings are fine, but I want to take Mr. Stevenson to attack Crimea and destroy the Ottomans for good. And then we can do a, quite a nice bit of reorganization i don't think i need to send any troops to india the ones i've you know the troops i've got are pretty good maybe we consolidate on the russian front we attack denmark to see if they support their allies we'll see if russia supports their allies and i would assume not oh beautiful artillery position back here So I want my grenadiers, my engineers, and my Swiss line to go through the town. We are going to push the right with my line. Skirmishers are going to be the link. Let's put a unit of heavy cavalry out wide in case their cavalry show up on the left. Nope. So these skirmishes run up. Everyone push up. Get the cavalry up on both flanks. We knocked out one of their guns. Ooh, quick climb, eh? Keep the artillery firing because they're all going to be focusing on the mortars. At least you might, eh, you might get one unit of mortars to rout. I mean, they're focusing on a couple of key units. Let's throw another cavalry in it. Okay, you men are going to retreat in the face of overwhelming infantry support. My cav heavy cavalry are going to push up the flank. You men are going to form a new front line that I can push forward from a bit more safely. Blow my cavalry to gang up on that reinforcing unit of horsemen. New men occupy this section here. New men both occupy here. New men stand there to fire onto the flank of this block of troops. It looks like they want to support the cavalry battle and utterly avoid the infantry battle, which is the smart choice, I must admit. So let's charge the heavy cavalry into the Islamic swordsmen. Charge the armed populace. these engineers to push forward to knock out the mortars get you guys to push forward and face down 
Univisarelli, get you to advance and potentially threaten the Islamic swordsmen. Push some of the armed populace up to try and attack our horsemen, that's not going to work. You push up to surround the armed populace attack and hit them in the rear. Okay, this is escalated. Push in. Field artillery cease fire. You push up to support the attack on the armed populace. Let's take my heavy cavalry. Get them to attack the horsemen. Actually, let's get my gunners to try and fire a volley at the horsemen from extreme range. Oh, they're actually not even shooting at what I wanted them to shoot at. Push on and attack the armed populace, it would appear. This has turned into a nice little Rome style fight. All of their troop all of their um, infantry is passed on. Passed on the action. The armed populace is going down, they're surrounded, they've got cavalry on one side, infantry on another. All of you attack the last infantry, the last cavalry unit. They likely will not stick around for too long either. Skirmish cavalry versus heavy cavalry. They say they're okay with it, but I don't think they are. You chase down the mortar garrison unit, engineers and Swiss line, everyone's... Hello? You men spin around. Let's bring our other cavalry across to fight the horsemen here. There we go, yeah, so we destroy the, the armed populace just by spinning around and firing volleys. Charge this heavy cavalry unit into the rear of the horsemen. Yep, and that's sealed their fate. Excellent. Huzzah and hurrah. There goes the end of their accursed empire. So. Boop. Path blocked Vincent Bristow. Because there's no one here anymore. Good, the Ottomans are destroyed. So let's do some repairs here. Upgrade you to a church school. Upgrade one of you to a coaching inn. Then one of you up to a smith's. So then my garrison force needs to hop out of Istanbul because troops like Hadwin Charlton need to cross over. George Wade and his quite good battlefield army can hop across and then out to the other side. You can probably head towards Persia. Flynn Gardner can head towards Ardabil. Yadavan needs better roads, as does Georgia. I mean, they hate us, but go to coaching in. Let's exempt them from tax as well. That should help. Let's upgrade all these buildings that otherwise would not have been upgraded due to Ottoman interference. Let's repair you. Repair you. Get rid of that steam dry dock. Do some fixes. Hmm. Still have the Knights of St. John to knock out. I don't foresee any great problems there. Maybe that is what Mr. Bristow will prepare to do. So let's march him. He can, he can, he can take a while to march along there. 
Yeah, you were going to get redeployed either to India or to America. I mean, lots of our territories, lots of our places are down as on strike, but I don't think that's actually going to be the case. Get rid of lots of these raids, because a good number of them would have been Ottomans. Let's get some more production going to the south. India, let's get better roads. Let's do a lot of good upgrades. So Mr. Denman, well, fortunately their force looks like it's fairly depleted, but I can run you this army back to provide extra cover because we're going to be forcing them east. So let's do it this way. Karnataka, yes, we've given you new roads. Bengal can get better roads. That would really help. That will really help my advance out of the territory. So let's do a nice bit of upgrading. Let's upgrade some white rice farms. What call it Weiss farm? To be honest, I think it actually might be a bit a bit like peeing in the wind, chasing down such massive production, uh, massive um, build orders, uh, construction reports. That's the word I'm looking for. So you've got your orders. Oh yes, he's okay. Cease recruiting anymore. Carabiner, we can tax you. So Mr. Patterson, you're going to push along to Cherkask. I mean, I might have to build a... We've got a fleet right here, which I'd sail to here. So if Denmark gets any ideas... Well, I say if they get any ideas, when they get any ideas. God, we've got a lot of stuff we can spend money on. To be honest, let's just do it this way. In Europe, we have quite a secure set of lands now, so it doesn't really matter what we build where precisely when it comes to spending our money. It's going to be more about making sure everywhere we can is upgraded. Repair that, repair that. Bearing in mind we are the Protestant heathens, so we want to keep our religious strength high. God, this is going to have a big... There's going to be a few big um, production... Uh, construction lists in a few turns. But I think... Well, I say I think we're done. We've actually got... There's a huge amount of towns in Europe. I don't know quite what I was talking about. It's not ones that are, that are under, undeveloped. It's getting them repaired from raids. Because I'm not... I'm not super bothered. I mean, I'll try and build a church school there. And I've already got one, sorry. I'll try and... No, that's a silly thing to do. One more turn away from Rhodes. If they want to attack now, then they can. Try and draw as many of their armies into battle as possible. You can probably demand the surrender of Ahmadnagar. Nope. So here at Satara, your Hamish Boyle's force is still replenishing. So let's upgrade you to a church school. Upgrade you. You're going across to Mysore. Still can't tax my saw. So can this army leave Katak? I think it can. Minus three. If I exempt you from tax, you can. Push on to Nagpur. You men push on to Akbarabad. You men push on to Ujjain. Good. So workers on strike in Bijapur, no. Workers on strike in Mysore, no. 
Workers on strike in Austria? No. Workers on strike in Goa? Yes. Um, okay. Let's recruit some dragoons in Zatara. If we don't leave the town, we'll see them spawn next to the city. Letter of demands from Rumelia. I mean, if we have to... Oh, it's because it's currently ungarrisoned. Boop. Certainly helps. Workers on strike in Romelia. Yeah, that's fine. Letter of demands in Georgia. Again, that's another territory that should come round to us. If not, then we'll bring them into the fold through fire and death. All of this is up for repairs. So ideally... Let's get some artillery for you. So... Harold Williams, you're actually going to push up to... Here's good. One force can take Kazan and then another can push on and take Ufa. You can try and charge down towards Astrakhan. To be honest, you were going to the north, but I think you're just going to go south. Because lots of these armies aren't actually needed to go north anymore. You require a replacement unit of light cavalry. Let's get a regiment of horse. Good stuff. Cameron Napier. Get all the way to Brest. Ridley Dawes. Get over to Brest as well. You men can combine. Okay, obviously got all of our troops in position to attack the enemy. Oh, you were chasing down Cameron Napier because you were replenishing, weren't you? Yes, I didn't really look into that. Stop where you are. Get the rockets to chase them down. You're on your way somewhere. You don't really have a purpose yet. You're on your way to Chakask. Okay, you've got a few turns of building and a bit of admin, I think, as well. Oh, let's do some dockyard stuff. I mean, there's not... Some of the places we're at, we can't really do a huge amount. Let's take one of our six rates and set them... Send to Vengerla. No, we don't want to end turn, do we? You want to take Mr. Denman. You have to engage this chap right here and bring them to battle. They're very depleted, but uh, so are we. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more battles in India, where we will then also fight the assaults on Ahmadnagar and Hyderabad. Thanks for watching, everyone.